we have already discussed that we are imparting a very large amount of energy for a very short interval of time this means that the deformation that we are imparting onto the workpiece material is at a very high strain rate for a very short interval of time we are imparting very high deformation now the thing is that if we compare the stress strain curves for a material subjected to slow loading and a material subjected to rapid loading the level of the stress strain curve that we obtained under rapid loading will be on the higher side compared to the level that we obtain under slow loading this means that with we when we increase the strain rate the yield strength will also increase and when when the yield strength increases that means that we can we can impart more deformation onto the material without failure however when a critical strain is reached the ductility will reduce right now if we compare the stress strain curves for different materials under different strain rates say for example if you go for mild steel two graphs are plotted here one under 500 per second and the one is 10 power minus 4 per second which means 500 per second means higher strain rate 10 power minus 4 per second means lower strain rate if you observe you can see that the level of the curve plotted under 500 per second strain rate is on the higher side compared to the level of the strain curve that we have obtained under 10 power minus 4 per second so the yield strength that we can obtain under 500 per second will be on the higher side if you if you plot it on uh, along the axis towards the stress axis you could see that the level, the level of the yield strength will be on the higher side for higher strain rate similarly for copper as well the 500 per second strain rate will result in higher yield strength for the material compared to 10 power minus 3 per second similarly for aluminium as well the yield strength is higher for, high, is higher for 1300 per second strain rate compared to increase to minus 3 per second so always remember for higher strain rates we can gather higher yield strength so when we plot the stress strain curves the level of the stress strain curve plotted under higher strain rate will be on the higher side than the stress strain curve plotted for a slow loading